Please. <clears throat> Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Uh, next, we move on to ordinances. These are ordinances for personal <coughs> by title only. There will be no public comments or questions on these ordinances. That will happen if they pass the first reading and put on for second reading. First ordinance is 2022-14, amending chapter 216 of the Code of the Township of Mount Holly pertaining to the health, safety, welfare, and protection of the public and property. Uh, any questions or concerns by council? If not, do I have a motion to approve Ordinance 2022-14? Motion to approve. I have a first, I have a second. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Next, we have Ordinance 2022-15, amending the zone map to rezone Block 87, Block 2, from the R3 to the B1. Uh, if there are no questions or concerns on this ordinance, do I have a motion? I have a quick question. Yes, Mr. Curry. So, like, the address of this block or what rough location? This is the old um, veterinarian yeah. clinic. That's why I thought it was right. just yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, with that, uh, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. I have a first. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Codiani moves a second. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Next ordinance is ordinance 22, 2022-16. Vacating the right-of-way referred to as a portion of Wall Street. Uh, if there is no questions, we will... It doesn't, someone have to make a motion to approve. Excuse me. I have a motion to approve by Mr. Brown. Second? Second. Second by Mr. Codiani. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Thank you. All right, and next we have ordinance for second reading and public hearing on these ordinances. We'll take them one at a time and I will open it up to the public. We'll go row by row. Please uh, raise your hand and I will call upon you. Please state your name and address for the record. The first ordinance is ordinance 2022-10. It's amending chapter 265 entitled vehicles and traffic. Subchapter 265-14-1 entitled Exclusion of Trucks in Excess of Four Tons Gross Weight. <coughs> Repealing Subchapter 265-53.1 entitled Trucks in Excess of Four Tons Gross Weight Excluded of the Code of the Township of Mount Howie. Uh, I'll open up the public first, uh, first row. Seeing none on the first row, second row. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Michael Rothnell, 33 Union Street. Yeah, Kim was nice enough to um, <coughs> ask for copies of the ordinance, and I read it. And I guess my question is, the past few meetings have been dominated by Shreve Street, and there's a couple businesses there where we hear heavy trucks going down Shreve Street. Are those going to be considered local deliveries and thus excluded from the ordinance? It, Shreve Street, from a certain portion, is excluded from the ordinance. Hume Street and the rest of the street, the rest of Street Street that goes into East Hampton, which is considered the truck route, will not be. So will not be what? Hold it. Will not be excluded from. So heavy trucks, trucks will be allowed to go down. For Hume the businesses street. that need to operate in the industrial zone in that area, yes. Okay, that's a, okay, that's a huge exception. Um, is it, but okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Right. I, I'm not sure I'm following the council, but is it this portion of the street that are? Up to the. From Street Street up to the side street. From Pine to Clay Street. From Pine to Clay Street. Residential. Yeah. It's residential. Clay, Hume, and the rest of Street Street is considered <coughs> in the industrial yeah. zone and it's on the truck route. Anyone else in the second route? Moving on to the third route. Yes, please. <coughs> Good evening, Betty Jean Chesler, 418 Langstaff Avenue, Mount Holly, New Jersey. 
We have an ongoing problem on our street with tree branches. We are only speaking on ordinance 2022. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought comment. it was public. That's okay. We're just That's on the uh, uh, second reading. We'll hear from you at the public comment. Yeah, sorry. Thank I you. thought you were there. Okay. Uh, anyone else in the third row? Fourth row. Seeing none, we'll close the portion, uh, public portion for the ordinance 2020-10 and bring it back up to council for <coughs> consideration. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve by Mr. Brown. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Brown. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? <coughs> I'm sorry? Abstain. Ms. Astor? Um, may I ask a question before I move my mind? Um, Shreve Street isn't mentioned in the following roads that are not included. So I'm not following It's already post, been posted. We are putting the signs up, posted it because of the issue the last time the residents came and complained about the truck. All roads are allowed to have local deliveries and conduct their business. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm following because there are certain things that are listed that are excluded, which makes sense, but I wasn't following. We wouldn't reach Tree Tree. Um, I'm here at the stage. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Thank you. Next ordinance is ordinance 2022-13. It's amending chapter 36 entitled Police Department subchapter 36-20 entitled contract with private employers or public entities of the code of the township of Mount Holly. Again, we will open this up to the public. Start in the first row. Any questions on this ordinance and this ordinance only? Mr. Lopez? Good evening. My name is Luis Lopez, 98 Lewis Drive, Lewis Drive. Uh, this, uh, you have the power to hire a private uh, citizen. No? Who? Who? Mayor, yes. Lewis Lewis, this ordinance is uh, um, uh, Lewis, this is, um, is an opportunity to, um, I guess, clean up the code uh, at the chief's suggestion. Uh, our officers are hired by private companies, uh -huh. okay? So this gives our, our officers an opportunity to make a little more money that, that the private companies are paying. And this is just, just cleaning up our code. That's all it's doing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone else in the first row in this ordinance? Hearing none. Second row? Seeing none. Third row? Back row? Seeing none, we'll close the public portion for the ordinance and bring it back up to council for consideration. Any questions from council on ordinance 2022-13? Done. Do I have a motion? I have a first. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Codiani, second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Next, we'll move along to matters presented by the public. Members of the public are invited to, sub to submit comments during the public comment portion of this meeting. The council, pursuant to the Open Public <coughs> Meetings Act, will not publicly discuss personnel matters and may choose not to respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. However, the council will give all comments appropriate consideration and will refer all individual complaints to the township manager or appropriate township representative for resolution. Each citizen will be allotted up to three minutes to speak in order to allow everyone an opportunity to express their opinions and concerns. Uh, again, we will start with the first row. <coughs> Lopez. Good evening. Luis Lopez, 98 Levis Drive. First question is uh, uh, who's control to pull uh, what agenda, the date, like for the environment, the planning board, uh, school board, everything? Who controls that to pull it in the Mahali website? I like to see that. When someone could go to the website, oh, the planning board is today. No, it's tomorrow. Or, you know, other commissioner. Anyway, you could update that to see, you know, people want. All of that information is in the calendar on the website. Yeah. Some, okay. Some people have, you know, mobile phone. I'm yeah. sorry, what? Yeah, some of the people have, you know, old mobile phone go to. Like I use a mobile phone. Okay. Well, I'm not familiar with that. I'm just letting you know that it is all there. It's just a matter of who's going to on your mobile phone, there is a thing to use the desktop top app 
through all on your phone so you can see everything. It's not just the mobile app. So when you go onto it, you just click view desktop and you're able to see everything. And we are in the process of working on a new website, which should be hopefully, hopefully coming out soon. Oh, cool. Uh, the second is uh, the second agenda item on the sheet. Resolution 2022-99. Mm. I wasn't wondering which item was. Huh? Which item are you referring to? Okay, can I? Yeah, yeah, sure. Which item? Uh, no. Uh, On the resolutions? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> That's okay. Number two, Rose. Yeah. Uh, a refund of property tax cancellation. 100% totally disabled bit. Okay. Okay, thank you. And one last thing. Uh, where is the the status of your shoe store of, uh, of any kind? I go out for quotes for remediation. <clears throat> and real quick, uh, and just to let you know, uh, I see a lot of speeding. Uh, I don't know if it's concerned to anyone. I see a lot of speeding uh, cars, you know, on the left drive. Hit one major bumps. And eventually, you know, in the future, it's just one speed bump, is there any way or any way you could contract that just to cover out that little speed bump or a little pothole? We're I'll see a bike going like this. We're working with the contractor now and the engineer on figuring out when and the time frame of the road. And, and I appreciate it for everyone that's concerned about my mom's well-being. I appreciate it for the prayers and thought. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eric Johnson, 202 Blue Jay Lane. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Chair. Um, just two questions. I've noticed that the minutes, um, unless I'm missing something, are not very detailed. Um, when I looked for my comments as to my questions, they were not there. I've been attending meetings since 1980 until recently, and they were very detailed. And when someone from the public spoke, how are you to know what they said and when they said it if it's not in the minutes? This is an open for the open uh, minutes uh, meeting act, is it not? I'm just curious. I didn't know. Maybe it was, you know, uh, trying to streamline or things of that nature. But that's a very important question because if I ask the question and it's not very detailed in the resource of pulling that information back, my question is gone. Understood. It, it's noted. Okay, because, uh, and, the, and the other thing is, in August, you asked for all of the information about my information of my sign to be given to you. And uh, there would be updates and things of that nature. I have been and I've wanted to work with the township as far as things that had to do with people with challenges. I don't want to keep feeling as though I have one of the highest boards in this town who cares nothing about seniors, veterans, and things of that nature. So, have you received the information that you asked for? Yes. Okay. We have um, it. So, <laughs> could you enlighten me as to where we are and where we go from here? We are, as a board, we have decided to side with the chief and stick with the no parking spots for individuals that have their own driveways because we do not feel we should be starting a precedent well, because it will cause issues throughout the rest of the town with parking that we already have tight issues with. Hmm. I have a concern. I understand you have a concern. Um, one thing I hadn't brought before this council, I went on, I started working with the township back in 1980. I came on the planning board in 1983. I stayed to 2008. I was the one who pioneered a lot of the uh, disabled and uh, service connected uh, paperwork. And when I left after having a heart attack in uh, 2008, there was still incomplete. 
So even as today, as I sit here and I listen to uh, where we're going to side with uh, something, there are no ordinance. The township has no ordinance. It has nothing to hold on to. It has a policy, but what is the policy based on? You know, I find it very interesting that we base the policy on nothing. It's a good idea, and I think it is, and it's something workable. But as the highest board in this town, that falls short. <coughs> and then when I think about, you know, very, very clearly, about the state mandate, where does that come into play? So does that mean we just blow right by the state? The federal government, we have no um, liking to follow those, those things. You know, the sad part is, I stood on other countries to serve this country. When I left here, and there are some members on this board who grew up in this town what I did. When I left here, I left here walking. I came back battered and bruised and beaten so that we could have meetings like this. And now I end up having to fight for a sign to save my life. Mayor Jones, everyone in here has a relative that is building the military. I'm proud. It says Brotherhood Always, U.S. Army. Thank Regardless of whatever else I've done, I'm very proud of that. And I, and I stood with all my brothers and sisters that are veterans in this town for this. And this is my thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my thank you. On Memorial Day, I heard wonderful things that inspired me to come and talk to you. You had a 9-11 service. Those were my brothers and sisters. And some of them shoulder to shoulder. Go on. Vietnam era vets. Go on. And this is my thank you. This is our thank you. Anyone else in the first row? Hi, my name is Margaret Kitchen. Sorry, Richard, I think I struck on Holly. Can you spell your name, please? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Margaret, you can, you can get it. H-I-T, C as in cat, Z as in zebra, and K-O. 18 page 18 page strike, yes. A few years ago, maybe two or three years ago, a few neighbors and I, we were trying to find somebody who controls the dam. The storm was coming, and we wanted to find out whether the dam is open or closed. Uh, we, we called, we emailed, we went to several offices, nobody knew what's going on, nobody knew who is responsible. Now uh, I'm considering raising uh, our house, and I know that FEMA has some programs, uh, but those programs, to apply for those programs, uh, municipality has to participate. And again, I called several people, and nobody is responsible, nobody knows what's going on. So I would really appreciate if the town should come up with some maybe liaison between uh, us people and Ruth, the government of Mount Holly, that we could, uh, we know that uh, regarding flood issues, we can go to that person and that person of course can have some other people to refer, they say, okay, with that respect, you have to go here and there but somebody responsible for those issues. It's an important issue in Mount Holly, not only around my neighborhood, but here as well. So I would appreciate that. If somebody is responsible for, so, so we can talk to those people. Thank you. Anyone else in the first row? Hello. Hello, first time here. Um, I'm David Miller, also at 18 Cakes Track. And uh, another issue that affects um, us there, and I think it's a consensus with everyone on 18th Case Track, 
to find out, I imagine so, is um, the plowing of the road and the maintenance of the road um, up to 60 feet in, because that's owned by the township, the first 60 feet of our loop road off of Shreve, and it's in very poor condition. And our previous uh, trash company was refusing to come down our road because of that drop down on there. So we'd like the road repaired there. As I say, it's the township owned the first about 60 feet on the loop of the either side. And um, also, you know, the maintenance as well as plowing because we get stuck there. Um, then we were thinking of gifting the road to the township, but we, there's many hoops and it's a costly procedure to go through. And I wonder if this is the way it needs to be, if there's a way of just giving this up as a private road, because it is used as a public road too. The police come through there, so if it were a private road, I imagine it wouldn't be part of the police patrol. And there used to be um, plowing, so there's the precedence of the township plowing the road. Um, I guess going back 10 years or so. So, concern about the road, and I think that is an easy thing to address. So, I hope so. And, um, do you know, once again, similar to my wife, is there somebody we could contact to find out if anything's being done regarding this? We'd like to know, like, who just to contact. Our that. township manager is our contact. And Mr. Josh Brown. Josh Brown, okay, yeah. He was very nice. We and to reiterate uh, what my wife requested to have a liaison with FEMA because we've been back and forth and FEMA said we can't apply for a grant personally it has to come through the township but no one in the township knows about the FEMA grant so to have I do have Mr. Lou looking into it right now yes. oh, so. I was I was incorrect Josh yes Mr. Brown oh. Yep. Oh. I thought you said 810 cage track he stopped by 810 cage oh, track so he got a good person 18 yeah, yeah. 18. I, was, yeah I was giving you the wrong address I stopped by to speak to I oh. guess you and I was giving yeah, so this, this is a great council quick work you right away. Yeah. so yeah. I will I'll talk to you after the meeting thank you very much thank you guys thank you, guys. Thank you. um Anyone else in the first row? <laughs> Seeing none, we move second row. Michael Rothmel, 33 Union Street. Um, at the last meeting, oh, um, we had asked about Shreve Street, and um, Josh Brown had said that Alimo had been there and hadn't found, Mr. Alimo had been there and had not found any issues. Um, and I know Jenna Champion has offered her property for Mr. Alimo to view the Shreve Street from the bottom so he could see what the concerns are. And I'm concerned that the summary of this report was not accurate because um, I did an open request on issues regarding Shreve Street. And in the second paragraph of his email, he said, I would need to drive down Birch Avenue to get a better view. Would you be okay with me calling Jenna to have her show me the location of the deterioration that she claims? And this is important because this complaint was generated because Jenna had to complain to Andy Kim's office to get the township to inspect. That was the second page of my e the email. And so they did, and I don't know whether Mr. Brown communicated to the township council that they, Mr. Lima offered to drive down Birch Avenue because Jenna's been asking for that since April. And, um, he, and then there was no mention of that at the meeting. And I'm concerned because it's a safety concern. The engineer wants to get a better view. And that was not mentioned at the last council meeting, which is a great concern. So that's why I copied this email and sent that to you because the email only says it went to Mr. Brown. It doesn't indicate that the council got it and the council didn't seem to offer Jenna the opportunity to allow Mr. Lima to come to her property. So I don't know if the council got this email or just the summary that was given at the last meeting, which was incomplete at best. So um, I would ask that question because um, I, think, I think that's important. Um, and it, I think it, almost, it also ties in with the whole approach to public safety in this township. I mean, we had the state trooper come here last month and say that we've had to have an emergency plan since 2018. His request had been ignored to the point where he threatened that Brian Donnelly would be removed by, from the governor, by the governor for failing to do his job. And these are real responsibilities for public safety. I mean, if a truck goes down, you're actually on notice and could be liable for the damages because um, they, they told you to get a better view about it. And you've just told me that heavy trucks are going to be able to go down Shreve Street. 
and um, as part of local deliveries. So the danger continues. We have an engineer who wants to get a better view and nobody is talking about it. Um, and, and our council's not doing anything about it when the person who owns the property wants to see has indicated her property is open for Mr. Alamo to get a better view. So I would like to know the council got this email and I would like to know what, you know, I would like more attention paid to public safety in general. I mean, we have two issues that are huge with regard to public safety. We just had all this rain. Who knows if we're going to bring the Manitoba's will flood again. And yet we don't have an emergency preparedness plan. So we're not taking these things seriously and they need to be taken seriously. And there has to be some supervision from this council and the manager on people that are concerned with safety because it's not being done. Thank you. I, I have a, <coughs> I have a comment and a question. Um, do you, are you aware, is, was Ms. Champion um, contacted by Mr. Lima? I, I can't see. She's not here, but I don't think so. Okay. If she was, so, she would have sent her people to no problem. I, uh, I recall the wording in this email, but the offer by Mr. Alimo to go to her property, which I did myself because I was curious as council person and wanted to go and look and do due diligence. Um, that comment was not in any communication with, with us. So that, that bothers me greatly. The other wording at the top, I did receive in the email, but the offer from Mr. Alimo to go to Ms. Champion's property was not included in that email. So is Mr. Alimo or did he reach out to Ms. Champion or Mr. Pollock at Birch Avenue? Mr. Alimo was given permission to reach out to him if he chose to. On eBay. Um, the email along with conversations with Mr. Alimo says that the road is stable and in good shape from his view. The property that you're asking him to look at is private property. Yeah, and which he's we offering not, to go there. But so. we don't, at, we don't, when I assign the township engineer to look at somebody's private property, or am I going to have him look at township property? Well, I guess my question he's is. He's going to charge us to look at that yeah. property. Okay, that's well, how much part. does it cost to have him go look at the road from the other side of the creek on someone's property? Yeah, can you look at my property too when it's. Well, he's not looking at their property. He want, The whole idea is for him to take a look at the, the soil <coughs> underneath the road from someone's property because that's where you can see it best. But that is somebody's pro property, correct? That's, <coughs> not, that's not the township property. Yes, I mean, I suppose there may be portions along the creek that are township property that he can we, see. We only own the road. We don't own anything along the creek. So he can only visit property that is township owned. I can only stand on property that's township owned. I'm not following. Would you like me to have the township engineer view somebody's private property and their problems, or should they go out and get their own engineer to view their problems? But it's not their property that they're concerned with. It's literally the soil under the road across the street that they don't even live on. It's just that in order to see that, the best perspective is from the other side of the creek. He could get in a kayak and see it, but like it, their property has nothing to do with it. So we only own the road. No, we don't own any property on the side of the park or on, on the road. We only own the road. Please. But it's a matter no of, it's, it's like if you are trying to see if a bridge has structural issues, standing on top of it doesn't help. You need to get down on like the bank of the river to look underneath. Well, that perspective just happens to be best seen from mm -hmm. their property, in which they've offered to let anyone who wants to go can stand on their property and go over it and see it. It's it's that easy. I, I just don't understand that you're saying that. If you would like me to authorize the township engineer, and we pay for it to look at somebody's private property, I will do so. He's not. The, well, here's the thing. It's semantic. The property, they're not asking. Stop with the conversations and, and, and the maybe public, I'm not please. following. They're not asking our township engineer to look at their property. It's a matter of the township engineer getting a better perspective of the soil underneath the road and all the tree branches, which is best seen from the other side of the creek, which happens to be their property. There's nothing to look at on their property. It's just that sometimes you can see things better from a different vantage if point. Nothing, I don't understand. Well, on, but if there's nothing to look at on their property, then what's the purpose of going onto their property? You're saying that they have to go on their property to look at the problem, be correct? But now you're just saying that there's nothing to look at on their property. No. So which one is it? It's, if you want to see and then the we soil find, on the side of the road and underneath the road and all the trees coming out. But is it the private property that allowed the 
the bank that could wash out. No. Who, who, how, how, if they're not maintaining their property, it's maybe damaging the road, correct? No. And your property has nothing to do with the equation. How? How? It, it does, because, do because they're, you're asking us to go on their property to look at a situation they're because it's causing offering, their property They're issues. offering the township engineer and we, and we, and we, and we gave a, And we gave the engineer permission to go on the property if, okay. he, if he chose oh, to. Okay. okay, so that means gender champion. Please, can call you are, oh, your time so has been expired, so sir. My, my understanding, and you are not on the clock yet, so please sit down. So just, nope. I just want to understand, and forgive me, if, but he he said that he would need to drive down to Birch Avenue to get a better view. And he view. was given permission to. Would he be okay? To. Okay. So has it happened yet, or? Not that he's told. Okay. So it, it, it is going to happen, uh, or know, it's it, in it, the works. It, okay. It, it was left up to his discretion. Okay, because I just I never saw that comment. That comment was never included in the communication with me, and that's all she's been offering all this time. Just come over; you can get a better perspective from the other side of the creek, which we happen to live on. And you know, it's very simple. So thank you. My answers, my questions have been answered, and I feel much better now. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else in the second row? Yeah. Yes, please. Hey, Kim Barkas, Twenty Nine Hillside Road. <clears throat> um, I will say I connected with Jenna um, today uh, to ask if there was any updates before I came here. Um, and she said no, the, she shared some further communications with Josh who basically stated the same thing, which was we, I do not want to authorize to pay uh, Mr. Limo to go on private property or to inspect private property. Again, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but the intention was just to be able to access that private property to then look across to the township property which is the foundation underneath of the street. I, I don't know how we can be any more clear about that, but just to clarify, I did connect and no, there wasn't the, the conversation with Josh dropped. He, he ended the, the volley. She has not heard from Mr. Lino, just to give an update. Okay, so I uh, wanna let everybody know on a later topic, the car show is coming up on the 15th. I wanted to remind everybody again, again, we have the Mayor's Choice Trophy, um, hoping that you guys come out. If you're gonna come and you'd like to um, choose a car, just connect with me, because I can get your form. I'd like to know if there is an update on the OEM um, situation um, with the state, has that been submitted? Are we all cool now? Have we submitted what we needed to submit? The OEM has spoke with the state. They're working on submitting a plan. Okay, awesome. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. I also um, wanted to reiterate something that Lois referred to, which is if we can get some more of the different um, committee and uh, like the zoning board, um, the environmental committee, the fire commission, recreation committee, I don't think those are on the calendar. I think it's just the planning board and the council meetings that are on that PDF of our like paper calendar that are on the um, desktop. So if we might be able to, it would be great if we could update and just have the dates and locations. And I think one might be Zoom, a Zoom meeting, so it would be great to have that link too so that we can attend um, those meetings and we know when they're coming up and we can have them on our calendars. Um, let's see, what else? And then, again, I would like to implore the committee um, to, um, or I'm sorry, the council to extend the public speaking um, time limit from three minutes to six minutes. Clearly, we're all bumping up against it. Now it's six. Oh, was it six? It I thought was it was five. Oh, five. Which okay, I five. Give okay, I think it's five. Extra I do time. Five. time. It's been right. heard the buzzer. Everybody's been given extra time. Yeah, but um, I just want to reiterate two things about that. One is, like, when I write my little like to-do list on what I'm going to talk about, I'm going in trying to keep it under three, so I might leave some stuff on the floor that probably should be able to talk about. The other thing is, again, we did reduce the number of meetings a, a month by half. So, um, you know, really you took away half of that amount of time that we had to communicate with you directly. So it would be great if you could extend that. I think that would be really helpful. Um, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no one else in the second row, third row. Hi, Betty Jean Kessler, 418 Langstaff Avenue, Mount Holly, New Jersey. We have an ongoing problem on Langstaff Avenue with low-lying tree branches in the middle of the street. They were wrapped around the power lines. All the communication lines, they're either wrapped on them, in between them, or underneath, and they are literally growing around each other. Some of the lines are literally being stressed and pushed down from the tree branches. I contacted BSE&G. They came out and cleared all the electrical lines. I contacted Verizon. I had to pay an $80 service fee. They came out, they looked at all the branches that are pushing down the communication lines, whether it's internet, Wi-Fi, cable TV, whatever, the branches are pushing them down and they are stressed. 
to the point where they're getting ready to snap. There's four different sections where these branches are all over the lines. Verizon says it's not their responsibility. They haven't cut branches in over 10 years. I was informed by PSNG and Verizon that it is the township's responsibility to come out and take care of all these branches that are pushing on all the communication lines. On top of that, when you have trash truck, recycle truck, UPS, FedEx, Verizon truck, when they're coming up and down the street, they're hitting these low hanging tree branches that are in the middle of the street and causing the Wi-Fi, the internet to go out and we have spotty service. I've had them out there checking it several times. I've paid the, the service fees. I am requesting that Manhali Township or the Manhali Township manager to please get somebody out there before these lines snap from our homes and catch somebody's house on fire because they are severely pushed down. We will have the public works director go out and have a look at the branches. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Anyway, that route. <coughs> Seeing none, let's get back route. Yes, sir. Bill Bolger, uh, 28 Kate's track. I just want to uh, support my good neighbors at number 18 in their request because this affects really all of us along the creek. And they're certainly very reasonable requests. I certainly hope the township will work with FEMA to provide us with whatever benefits we can get. I would think that would be a standard constituent service. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, one other thing, I, I want to thank you for paving Shreve Street. I was told it would be done in August, and it was. It's a great, a great advance. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll close the public portion for tonight. Move back up to council for the consent agenda. All items listed with asterisk are considered routine by council and will be intact by one motion. Should a council member wish to discuss the consent agenda item separately, that item can be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence. First item is resolution number 2022-98, authorizing the governor's council on alcohol ISM and Drug Abuse Fiscal Grant Application. Resolution number 2022-99, authorizing the refund or cancellation of property taxes, lot, lot 60, lot 25, 58, 518 Garden Street. Resolution number 2022-100, adopting an affirmative marketing plan for the township of Mount Holly. Resolution number 2022-101, installation of a mural at 33 White Street. Resolution number 2022-102, resolution of a group affidavit as certification of the 2021 annual audit. Resolution number 2022-103, opposing lien on 10, 12, and 14 West Monroe Street. Resolution number 2022-104, imposing a lien on 14 bond carers. Resolution number 2022-105, imposing a lien on 1659 Route 38. Resolution number 2022-106, opposing a lien on 94 Madison Avenue. Resolution number 2022-107, opposing a lien on 14 Willow Street. Resolution number 2022-108, opposing a lien on 179 Washington Street. Resolution number 2022-109, opposing a lien on 342 Washington Street. Resolution number 2022-110, opposing a lien on 106 Ashurst. Resolution 2022-111, approving application for MPP side grant program to Rock, Paper, Scissors Saloon. Resolution number 2022-112, endorsing middle and clear certifying maintenance commitment for Mount Holly 2023 transportation alternate set aside program application. Resolution number 2022-113, requesting additional six month extension of time for award of construction projects for the combined FY 2021 and FY 2022 municipal aid grant fund funded projects. Uh, the approval of the bill list. With the consent agenda read, does anyone on council wish to have anything pulled from the consent agenda and voted on separately? Hearing none, do I have a motion for the consent agenda? 
I'll motion. You make a motion to approve by Mr. Codiani. Do I have a second? I'll second. Roll call. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Thank you. Matters be reported by the township manager? Not so. Matters be presented by the township solicitor? Thank you, Mayor. I, I've addressed my items this evening. Thank you. Comments. Matters presented by council, Mr. Codiani? Yeah. Um, during the meeting, I was actually kind of thinking about my uh, time as a school teacher, school teaching. Um, there's a lot of days where students kind of push my buttons and get pretty annoyed with them. Um, but I always try my best to kind of stay calm and treat them fairly each and every day. Um, I just kind of want our counselor to also remember that. I know the questions can be very tough sometimes when you get annoyed with each other in public and counselor. Um, but just kind of to keep that decorum with each meeting treated as a new thing, even if the issues aren't necessarily new. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just have one comment. Actually, it was uh, part of the question that you asked, Mr. Luis Lopez. Um, I've been sure a lot of people will ask me, you know, when do we have our next council meeting, or do you know when the planning board is happening? And I've been trying to put together a calendar, and um, I do know the council meeting and planning board are on the paper calendar that we get. That's also uploaded on a PDF, but nothing else is on that calendar. Um, and, and I would like to see, I, I'm going to try to do my best, um, maybe share on Facebook, but I know like the environmental committee, the recreation committee, um, meetings are not posted. And I know normally the rec committee is the first Monday of the month at six o'clock, which would be now. So I don't know when they're meeting. Um, the environmental committee is supposed to be the third meeting of the month. Um, and I guess, Ms. Barna, when? When and where would a member of the public be able to find out when all these things, are they posted on a bulletin board in the municipal building? They are. Okay, yes, they are. Because I know someone asked me a couple of days ago, and I'm like, well, normally the rec committee would be today, but town council meeting is, so I don't know when the rec committee is meeting. Um, a town council meeting tonight, we would have had it next Monday, but it's all yeah. day, um, so it jumped forward. So, you know, with things like that, um, changing, I think just having it on the website somewhere, I know there's a lot of minutes and agendas that are absent. The planning board hasn't posted minutes since July of 2020, and they do have Zoom meetings, so having that link available, because the only way to find out is to go to the last agenda of the last planning board meeting, and then look at the Zoom link, because people do want to listen and know what's going on and be involved, and I don't always have the answer, and it's kind of embarrassing being a council member that I'm not 100% sure when a meeting is happening. So just any way that we, we can help people know what's happening um, so they can be more involved would be awesome. Um, and that's it, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Brown? No, I said no. No. Mr. Banks? Uh, nothing at this time. Um, Yes, we have the car show coming up. We also have the Oktoberfest, which is Sunday, uh, starting at 1, correct? Mr. Yeah. Luke? Awesome. That should be a good time for everybody. So, um, with that, our next uh, meeting is Monday, 14th, November 14th at 6 p.m. Um, with that, is there any, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? I have a